Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use DLSS for upscaler in conjunction with FSR 3.1.3 frame generation in Ninja Gaiden 2 Black, Lies of P and Wolong Fallen Dynasty. We'll be testing these games on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. This guide will work on every PC that has an RTX GPU. I'll keep the gameplay short. We'll be using Nitex OptiScaler and Newcomnize DLSS G2 FSR 3 mods. Before jumping into the gameplays, would like to thank Keymailer and Xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. This subscription gives us access to hundreds of games. We can play these games for as long as we want until our subscription expires. Games from Microsoft Studios and even third-party studios are included with PC Game Pass. We get to play many newly released AAA games day one of their release. In India, Microsoft even supports UPI mode of payment. I'll kick things off with Ninja Gaiden 2 Black, PC Game Pass version. Built using Unreal Engine 5 to significantly enhance its visuals. This is the definitive version of Ninja Gaiden 2 featuring additional playable characters and enhanced battle support functions. The game already supports DLSS frame generation, so I'll be using Nukem 9's mod to replace it with FSR frame generation. The mod will also enable NVIDIA Reflex. I'll be using Build 0.122 universal version of Nukem 9's mod. You can download it for free from Nexus Mods. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on Manual Download under Universal. Then click on Slow Download. The game comes with TLSS Subscaler version 3.7.2. I'll manually update it to the latest version that is 310.2.1. Just download this version of TLSS Subscaler from Tech Power of's website. Click on Download here. Click on any of these servers. Download will start. In order to activate DLSS Force Transformer model, we need to set the model preset to K. To verify the details of DLSS Subscaler like its model preset and version, I'll be enabling DLSS Debug Overlay. We'll be using the registry code provided by Emus. Just copy these lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as Overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter, yes, select it, right click, open with notepad, paste the lines here, click on file, click on save, close and execute this registry file. This will activate the DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0, like this, click on file, save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Execute it. Click on yes. Okay. We are done here. Open the mods archive file that you downloaded earlier. Double click. Open dll underscore version folder. Copy the two dll files. Version and dlss g2fsr3 amd is better. Open xbox pc app. Click on my library. Select the game. Click on the three dots here. Click on manage. Click on files. Game size is around 81.5 GB. Click on browse. Open the game's install folder. There it is. Open content folder. Paste the two DLL files here. Mod has been installed. The process is that simple. Now I'll manually update TLSS Upscaler. Open the Upscaler's archive file that you downloaded earlier. Copy this DLL file nvngx underscore TLSS. Need to paste it in the game's install directory. Open content folder. Open Ninja Garden 2 black folder. Open Plugins folder, DLSS folder, Binaries folder, third party, Win64. Replace the older version of DLSS Upscaler with the latest version. We are done here. Make sure Hardware Accelerated GPU Shuttling setting is enabled on your PC. Right click on the desktop, click on Display Settings. Click on Graphics. Click on Advanced Graphics Settings. Enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Shuttling setting from here. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage 3D settings. Click on Program settings. From this drop down bar, select Ninja Gaiden 2 Black. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync from here. Click on Apply. Now this game does support FSR 3.1. The upscaler is decoupled from FSR frame generation. But when I try to combine DLSS upscaler with FSR frame generation, this combination produces a lot of graphical artifacts. All of these issues were fixed by using Nukem 9's mod. In-game settings, resolution set to full HD, display mode full screen. 
इस गेम से एफ इज कैप्ट एट वन ट्वेंटी वीसिंग ऑफ अपस्केलर सेट टू डी एल एस एस यूजिंग इट्स क्वालिटी प्री सेट फ्रेम जनरेशन सेटिंग डिसेबल फॉर द टाइमिंग रिफ्लेक्स ऑन रेट रेसिंग ऑन इंस्टोट्रोपिक फिल्टरिंग एट टाइम्स एवरीथिंग सेट टू हाई पोस्ट प्रोसेसिंग इफेक्ट्स डिसेबल वी आर एन दिस इज द सेकेंड लेवल दिस हाई बूसा एफ पी एस इज विद इन अ रेंज ऑफ सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी चेक आउट द टी एल एस एस टी बग ओवले मॉडल पी सेट यूज दिस के वर्जन ऑफ द स्केल थ्री वन जीरो पॉइंट टू पॉइंट वन बेस एसल्यूशन क्लोज टू सेवन ट्वेंटी पी ऑफ स्केल टू फुल एच डी ऑटो एक्सपोजर सेटिंग इज ऑन नेंजर्स ओके दिस गेम फीचर्स अ फास्ट पेस गेम प्ले रिक्वायर्स क्विक इनपुट्स यू टोन फॉन्ट लेटेंसी इशूज है अदरवाइज यूल बी स्ट्रगलिंग अलॉट फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी एफ पीज डूरिंग कॉम्बैट दिस लाइज आर वेरी क्विक हैबूस आई कैन डिसमेंबर एनमीज बॉडी पार्ट्स ओ माई गॉड दैट आई लॉस दिस लेग ओके आई एल जस्ट नेबल फ्रेम जनरेशन नाउ फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी एफ पी एस है फ्रेम जनरेशन ऑन बैक टू द गेम ये एफ पी एस इंक्रीज टू रन वन हंड्रेड कैन ऑब्जर्व दैड अमाउंट ऑफ स्मूथनेस गेम्स एंड एलिमेंट्स आर नॉट फ्लिकरिंग मॉट सीम्स टू बी वर्किंग प्रॉपरली नॉट ऑब्जर्विंग एनी आर्टिफैक्ट्स एंट्रिंग द विलेज मट इज गार्डिंग दिस प्लेस देर इट इज प्लान डेट मी स्लाइसड या फ्रेम पेसिंग ग्राफ इज नॉट अ फ्लैट लाइन इट्स टू डू द रिसेंट चेंजेस इन स्ट्रीम लाइन फ्रेमवर्क डज नॉट अफेक्ट द परफॉर्मेंस दीज थिंग्स आर वे टू क्विक आई एम जस्ट लुकिंग फॉर एन ओपनिंग would not recommend using frame generation in this game if the base fps is lower than 50 latency will be a problem finally took it down now i'll be testing the next game will be using the latest nightly build of optiscale mod you can download it from github just expand the assets section here click on the dot 7z link this is the build that i'll be using point 7.7 preview 7202503100 Lies of P is a Souls-like game built using Unreal Engine 4. It will be leaving Game Pass in five days. The story follows the titular puppet traversing the fictional city of Krat, plagued by both an epidemic of petrification disease and a puppet uprising. This game does not support FSR frame generation, so I'll be enabling it via OptiScaler mod. Open OptiScaler mod's archive file. Copy the highlighted files, three of them. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. Open Xbox PC app. Go to My Library. Select the game. Click on the three dots here. Click on Manage. Click on Files. Game size is around 35.6 GB. Click on Browse. Open the game's Install folder. Open Content folder. Open Lies of P folder. Open Binaries folder. WinGTK folder. Paste the files here. Change the name of Optiscaler.dll file to txgi.dll. Now I'll manually update the game's DLSS upscaler. Open the upscaler's archive file. Copy this DLL file. Open the game's install directory. Open the game's install folder. Content. Open engine folder. Plugins. Marketplace. DLSS. Binaries. Third party. Win64. This is the game's official DLSS version 3.1.1.0. Replace it with the latest version. You can check it. 310.2.1. Make sure afterburner or RTSS is not running in the background. Otherwise, OptiScaler's hard fix won't work properly. I'll just use Nvidia's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. Even for this game, I've enabled VSync from Nvidia Control Panel. Graphics settings: Screen mode set to max screen. Resolution full HD. No FPS cap applied. VSync off. Upscaler set to DLSS using its quality preset. Graphic quality preset set to best. Advanced settings. I'm in Krat Central Station. Yeah, here FPS is close to 110. Hitting the GPU bottleneck. Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Ignore its flickering. Model preset used is K version of the upscaler 310.2.1. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD. Auto expose setting on. Pop it. The visuals look beautiful. 
reminds me of platform okay i'll just enable optiscale fsr frame generation now open the mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key check the setting fg active check the setting fg hotfix limit value set to 1 check the setting as well fg allow async this setting was a bit unstable in the earlier versions of optiscale mod now it's much more stable does not cause the game to crash show you the debug view the displays for all of the images are working properly no hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images so optiscale frame generation with hard fix should work properly disable the debug view click on save ini to save the settings let's just play the game yeah fps increased to 178 this is insane game is running so smoothly you can disable DLSS debug overlay after verifying the upscaler's details. It's flickering, but the game's HUD elements are not flickering. DLSS debug overlay is not a part of the game's interface. So this is why it's flickering. After skill hardfix won't work with it. Again, very good results produced by FSR frame generation mod. Hitching is not a problem. Now I'll be testing the next game. Now I'll be installing OptiScaler mod in Volong Fallen Dynasty. This game is set during a fictionalized version of the fall of the Han Dynasty, shortly before the Three Kingdoms period. The plot follows an unnamed protagonist who battles historical characters and Chinese mythological creatures corrupted by demonic energy. I'll be running the game's demo available on Steam Store. Open OptiScaler mod's archive file, copy the highlighted files, three of them. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, browse local files. Paste the mod files here. Change the name of optiscaler.dll file to txgi.dll. This game comes with a very old version of DLSS Subscaler. I'll manually update it to the latest one. Open the Upscaler's archive file. Copy this DLL file. Open the game's install directory. The game comes with this version of DLSS Subscaler 3.1.11.0. Replace it with the latest version. Check it. There you go. I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Game does not support reflex, so I'll also enable ultra low latency mode from here. Click on manage CD settings, click on program settings. Select the game from this drop down bar. Scroll down until you find low latency mode setting. Just set it to ultra. Scroll down to then enable VSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on set up G-Sync here. Enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync indicator. This step is optional. Click on display here and check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator. Apply the changes. Make sure after burn overlay is not running in the background. It can cause OptiScaler's hardfix to not work properly. Again, I'll be using NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. In-game graphics settings, display mode full screen, resolution set to full HD. Maximum FPS 120, resolution scaling, upscaler set to DLSS using its quality preset. Everything set to high, in-game vsync disable, effects enable. Post-processing effects like motion blur, chromatic aberration, frame grain, depth of field and lens sphere disabled. We are in. Yeah, here FPS is within a range of 70 to 80. Check out the TLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Model preset used this K. Latest version of the upscaler. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. Auto exposure setting is on. It's another source-like game. Requires quick inputs, features a fast paced gameplay. Just enable OptiScaler FSR frame generation now. Open the mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. DLSS Subscaler selected. Check this setting FG active. Check this setting FG hardfix. Set the limit value to 1. FG lossing setting enabled. Show the debug view. Displays are working properly for all of the images. No HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. 
so after scale FSR frame generation smooth effect should work properly games interface should not flicker disable debug view click on save and I reload the same checkpoint the FPS increased to around 120 can observe the added amount of smoothness before enabling frame generation here FPS was within a range of 70 to 80 the games hard elements are not flickering only the DLSS debug goal is flickering. You can disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. This game had performance issues at launch. Used to run in a slow motion state when the base FPS dropped below 40. I hope this issue has been fixed now. Would not recommend enabling frame generation if the base FPS is lower than 60. Otherwise latency will be a problem. This applies to every source like game perfect parry there stunned the guy so that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day